What is up, everyone? This is the Big Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore. No alchemy run. Uh, yeah, since last time I, uh, did I max out honey and nectar? Yeah, so there you go. Good stuff there. Uh, pixie dust. Uh, they're actually cheaper in this area than they were before, so I would probably get, like, two or three of them. I think they do, uh, either auto life or, like, a regen kind of deal effect. Uh, so there we go. We're doing, we're pretty good now. We're in good shape for, to go to the to go to Ebon Keep. So let's do that. If I can quit walking around like a drunk. Yeah, you can get the treasures in the castle, by the way. I think anyway. Yeah. All right. Is this it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, now that we have the skeleton key, we can actually open all these doors. And then you can, you know, get some good treasure here. I'm not going to get everything, but whatever. Yeah. Good stuff. There we go. Got a pair of wings. Awesome. I like the music in this place. It's got like a little, I don't know, it's just, you know, mystic and soothing at the same time. I lied, I'm gonna get all the items here. It's not, there's not that many to get, to be quite honest. Let's see, no. A lot of it's just uh, alchemy ingredients, but we got this guy right here. Yeah, so. That's the uh, husband of the guy, of the, of the guy, right? Husband of the woman who gave you the uh, skeleton key. Uh, if you give this guy the key, he'll teach you an alchemy ingredient. But since I uh, haven't opened all the doors and got all the treasures yet, I don't want to give him the uh, skeleton key. So, yeah. Acorns. Fun. Uh, come on. There's no other treasure. Here we go. Two parts of iron. Nice. Oh, there's another chest. Honey. Oh wait. Whoa. Hey now. Okay. That 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 leads to the uh, next next area of the game that we have to go to. So now let me give the the key to the guy here. See what uh, alchemy ingredient he teaches us. Was he here? Yeah, here he is. Here's the key, man. Awesome. Cool. And he teaches us firepower, which uses a feather and a thing of brimstone, is it? Yeah. It's alright. It's about as good as a fireball. Yeah, and he sells feathers. Four for 1,000 gold. So, yeah. Right. All right. All right. I'm not equipping that. <laughs> yeah, alchemy in this game is pretty overrated, if you ask me. It's nothing that you can't uh, accomplish with weapons. It really isn't. Well, I mean, there's a boss later on where we kind of need alchemy to beat, but if you have enough, uh, oh, that dungeon? Whoops. I didn't know that was the dungeon. I thought that led to the next area. <laughs> Whoops. Fail sauce. But yeah, there's a boss later on that, uh, pretty much requires you to, oh, there's the ravine. Alright. To use magic, but I have enough call beads, so I don't really care. Doesn't mean much to me. Where the hell do I have to go here? Alright. Am I seriously getting lost in this place? Come on. Oh my god! Okay. No, now I know where to go. I'm just a friggin' moron. An idiot. Here we go. All right. Awesome. 
Yeah, this is that uh, chessboard maze thing that the villagers were talking about. Lots of skull claws here, so just, you know. If you haven't gotten the upgrades, if it, at the very least buy the upgrades that are available to you in the, uh, in the store of uh, Eivor Tower. Just the regular ones. If you can get the ones from the, uh, that you get with the, uh, Amulets of Annihilation, that's good. Um, but if you don't have, if you weren't able to get them, that's fine. You're just gonna have to finesse. Uh, you're just gonna need a little bit more finesse. Especially for boss time! Against a chest knight, apparently. Cool. Yeah, if you don't have the uh, proper upgrades, this guy can whip your ass. He can do a lot of damage to you, but since I do have good upgraded uh, defense power, he's not gonna do much damage to me. And I have like lots of, you know, lots of those accessories too, so he's not doing much damage to us at all, is he? Oh, come on. Yeah, just, you know, just walk up to him and give him all you got. Yeah, he's doing nothing. Six damage? <laughs> I laugh at your six damage. <laughs> Boom! Good shot. Good shot, dog. A little poodle that I have. A pink poodle. Oh, come on, that should have landed two hits. What the hell? There we go. I do believe this guy is very resistant to magic, but I could be wrong. Take him out, come on! Oh, hit him, you dumb prick. Oh, he didn't even charge his, uh, weapon. Or his attack. The dog. Did that hit him? Yeah, I think it did. Nice! It's teamwork right there. Yeah. Aw, oh, man. Come on. Uh. No! I did not want to release my attack. Wanted to just start charging. Oh, come on! Nice shot. It's taking a lot longer than I thought. A lot longer than I want, we'll say that. Yeah, that's how you do it. Corner him and just let your attack loose. Beautiful. Amazing. Hold our sword up in victory! Good deal. And, get a, and a staircase just materializes. Awesome. Good deal. Whoa, hey now. Forgot that we had a uh, skull claws to deal with. Holy crap, he just knocked me all the way up the staircase. Imagine that. Imagine being knocked back up a staircase. That would just be hilarious. Whoa, hey, it's the uh, core thing that, uh, yeah, we saw when the uh, dog statue blew up. Looks like it's ready to blow this place up. What the hell? Get out of my way! We're about to blow up, man! There we go. Oh, hey, it's a cutscene between the Queen and Eronio. I guess that guy's from the uh, antique uh, era, because he's dressed like, you know, in a toga and stuff. Cool. Oh, yeah. What? Okay. Ah, oh, so the Queen's evil. Gee. Didn't see that coming from overseas. From another planet. From another solar system. Alright, so... This is the forest that they're talking about. And yes, there are dragons here! And they're quite bad. See, so yeah, I want to just check on my time real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, we're ready. Nice. All right, yeah, this is a. This area is pretty damn grueling. Uh, it's not really hard, but it's just annoying. You see those little gremlins in the trees there? Those indicate that you're going the right way in this place. 
Um, you can get uh, some secret stuff, but uh, I wouldn't really care about it too much. Yeah, there he is. I mean, I, I really wouldn't worry about it at all, to be quite honest. Not worth it, trust me. We got spiders, yay. Awesome. Oh, by the way, if you haven't done what you need to do in Evor Tower, get the upgrades, um, get the lance spell, uh, do that before going into the forest, because once we come back from Ebon, Ebon Keep, like the Queen says, if we return, you know, the Queen's gonna probably not let us in, because we're already on her bad side. If we destroy the dragons, which we will. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Didn't see a gremlin. Did not see a gremlin. Alright, yeah. Dragons. Drag oils, those guys are called. Ow! Dumb hedgehog. There we go. Gruelville. 25 leagues west. Okay. Now entering Gruelville. Right. What, does Gruella de Ville live there? Okay, that was very, 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 very bad. Worse than the Lady Gaga jokes I was making in Dragoon X Omega. Holy crap. Yeah. That was a Lame sauce. If I don't say so myself. Nope, wrong way. No music, just a bunch of birds chirping and stuff, which is pretty cool, I guess. Makes sense for a forest. Yeah, there is some kind of music going on here, but whatever. Nothing too significant. There we go. Ow! Yeah, just run through everything. Don't try and beat every enemy, because... If you've been following along with what I've been doing, getting all the accessories and whatever, levels aren't really going to be as significant as they could be. Um, if you didn't get all the accessories, you may want to gain a few levels in the... Uh, in the... Evor Tower er area, probably about level 23, 24 before going any further, cause yeah, especially if you didn't get the upgrades from that uh, the Amulet of Annihilation can give you, gold plated vest and such. And it's boss time against evil twins. All right, let's do this. Yeah, so you have to fight. Three uh, manifestations or three uh, evil uh, hero twins. We can do quite a bit of damage to you, so I would watch out. Yeah. Alright, this may take a while. Come on, you stupid dog, do your job. Good deal. Yeah, he can cast Crush on you. Holy crap. Man, he does a lot of damage. That's alright, we can take him out. Whoa, hey now. Oh my god. Did you stop hitting me? Oh, come on. That made a direct damn hit. Between this and Earthbound, no weapons have worse hit detection in this game. It's like not even like a cool, like, it's not even like a fun challenging. It's just an annoying. It's just annoying and stupid. See what I mean? That should have hit him twice. But then again, it should have only released the uh, special attack once. But still, goddamn. Oh, sh he hit us with Storm. That's not too bad. Oh, come on! Lame sauce. This is going to be another 17 minute video. Really don't like uh, ending. Oh come on! Let's 
Don't make me start cussing, Jesus. You know, the enemy is like way more accurate than I'll ever be, and I'm like, I what? Yeah, that's just fucking stupid. So now I'm pissed. I'm just mad now. There we go. God, I don't know why it's taking so damn long. Hit him. There you go. I think it's really stupid how the enemy can just, you know, block your charged up attacks. But, oh, they're regular attacks, you know. Their regular attacks will, like, knock us into the stratosphere. Knock us back, like, 7,000 feet. Yeah, he just used a nitro, which is pretty much one of the most, one of the strongest attacks, uh, alchemy attacks in the game. There we go. God! That took forever! Yeah, and we get a Crusader Sword. That's the, uh, sword weapon of the, uh, medieval era. But, I have my gladiator sword is charged up, so there we go. That's all I really need. Awesome. So what other stuff awaits us in the forest? Find out next time on Let's Play Secret of Evermore No Alchemy Run. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace. Oh, and there's a safe point up ahead, too.